is gate 2022 electrical question number 46 two generating units rated 250 megawatt and 400 megawatt have governor speed regulations of 6% and 6.4% respectively from no load to full load both the generating units are operating in parallel to share a load of 500 megawatt assuming free governor action the load shared in megawatt by the 250 megawatt generating unit that is the first unit is being asked round off to nearest integer for NPTEL reference, you can refer to lecture number 24, Automatic Generation Control of the NPTEL course Power Generation Transmission and Distribution by Prof. D.P. Kothari, Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Delhi. For useful data, you need to understand the group characteristics of generators. As the power generation by generator increases, the operating frequency decreases and this phenomenon is known as the droop phenomenon. So, generators 1 and 2 are operating in parallel and sharing a net load p net so initially when the both the generators are not loaded at no load condition the first generator was operating at frequency no load frequency 1 and 2 fnl1 and fnl2 but as the load on both the generators increases the frequency reduces since they are connected in parallel the final operating frequency for a given load is same so let that be f as specified the generator having larger capacity will share more load and that with the smaller capacity will share lesser load this is given by the load shared by generator 1 is fnl1 minus f by fnl1 minus ff1 that is full load 1 multiplied by full load capacity of the generator as the full load capacity increases the power sharing capacity also increases and as group reduction that is fnl1 minus ff1 this term becomes smaller also this term increases the so capacity of generator 1 this one is more it will share more load p2 is no load frequency 2 minus the final frequency divided by no load minus full load frequency into capacity full load capacity of generator 2 P net is specified as 500 megawatts the power generated by 1 equal to no load frequency that is which is given in the question no load frequency which is 50 hertz let us assume minus operating frequency divided by no load minus full load frequency 6% drop we see so 0.94 times 50 because 6% has been reduced so this times the full load capacity of the generator 1 which is 250 and for generator 2 it is 50 minus operating frequency divided by 50 minus 6.4% drop 0.936 times 50 after drop that is full load frequency multiplied by generating capacity which is 400 determine first the frequency that is operating frequency and from that we will get p1 and p2 this is equal to 50 minus f divided by 3 into 250 and this is equal to 50 minus f divided by 3.2 into 400 so we can write 50 minus f by 3 into 250 plus 50 minus f divided by 3.2 into 400 which is equal to p1 plus p2 that is 500 taking 50 minus f common we have 250 by 3 plus 400 by 3.2 equal to 500 f equal to 47.6 so 250 megawatt that is first generator generation is being asked so p1 equal to 50 minus f which is 2.4 divided by 3 into 250 which is 200 megawatts so this is the answer